Uh, hi, uh, my name is Zeke. Uh, I'm one of the summer interns here at Northwest Christian Church. And today we're gonna be taking a look at uh, Psalm 139 verses 13 through 14. And it says this, for you have created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Uh, so the first thing that kind of jumps out to me from this verse is that God has made us, right? We each have a purpose that he has given us um, and he created us before we were even conscious, right? It says that he has knit us together in our mother's womb. Um, yeah, another part of this verse that jumps out to me is uh, that God has a plan for us, right? Because he has, because he has created us, um, he has a plan for us, right? God's plan is so much bigger than anything that we could uh, come up with as humans, right? Um, he has planned us, he knows the number of our days, and he knows exactly what um, what each of us is gonna do from the moment, from, from before we're even born, right? Um, so we can have, we can kind of have like a comfort in that, right? We can, we know that God's plan um, is the best plan. It's better than our plans. Um, and as long as we can listen to him and know who we are created to be by him, um, we, I think that's a very big piece of comfort. Um, another part of this verse that jumps out to me is that you are loved and valued by your creator because God took, he is so intentional with his creation, right? Um, he doesn't waste things. He doesn't leave things to just sit there, right? Um, it says in the last part of the, of the verse that God's works are, are wonderful, right? And we know that, it's evident. Um, one of the places where I see a lot of God's work uh, is in nature, right? Like you go out and you look outside and you, there's so many different, so many different kinds of places, right? Like there's deserts or there's the rainforest or there's the ocean or there's the pine trees out here in the Pacific Northwest, right? Like each part of nature, God has created so specifically to work together um, and to just be part of his creation, right? Um, and just like with us, right? Like we see there's all different kinds of other people. They look different. They, they have different gifts that God has given them. Um, and they're just different people. God has created us so uniquely um, that I think that's, it all comes back to like, he has created us. He has knit us together. Um, and the, the last place that I see um, that I see God's, God's works is in the life of Jesus, right? Like we see these miracles that he was able to perform uh, through the Father and how good they are, right? Like he goes around healing the sick, he goes around uh, casting out demons. These miracles attest to God's works and how good they are. Um, so my challenge for you guys this week is, how can you love others for who they truly are this week? In other words, how can you love someone for who God has made them to be?